Hello and welcome back to Ravenport. Well, today we're going to have a look at cutting our grass and starting to get the hay sorted out around this yard here. So we use a 6155 here on the coon mower. Let's see about cutting some of this grass down here. It's a bit uneven in places, so we'll have to see how well it goes. Just tidy it up around the yard then as well by doing this. Once we've done this, we've also got a small piece of straw to bail in our own yard. We've already cut our field of oats off camera and left the straw there for us to bail. So we'll get this cut and we'll slip over there and just bail that up before we tear this out. So we'll try and keep the more level bits on here. So I have a feeling we may have some problems with the tether and rake if not. See how many bales we can get off here. So this will probably be split across two different videos due to the amount of work involved in it. So, what we'll do is we'll try and cut around the sheep yard and the barn as well, just see where we can get to with this. The ancient plan will be to put some concrete or gravel around here and just tidy it up that way so there's no more grass to worry about. For now we'll just have to tidy up like this. So this track to handle some more, no problem at all on here. field three or four times before we try and cut in any other directions. Got a couple of trees to try and avoid as well while we're doing that. So there's quite a few obstacles in here to keep away from. So I'll probably do three round the field this way then we'll turn around and go back round the other way. Just do the outside one. It's going to be a bit awkward around the sheep yards and these tanks and things down here just to tidy up, but we'll do the best we can with it. Try not to hit anything in the process. Let's go around this way now. Not going to take too long to get this cut down. Looks to be a fair amount of grass on here as well, which is a good thing. Keep us in bales for a little while. time lapse most of this being cut and then come back once we're finished and get the bowler on. We're nearly finished.
okay, so it's just got this little tiny bit here to do. We've gone around the open bits now. And just this little triangle over here to finish. And we'll drop this mower off and get the baler on this tractor. So not too much in this triangle. It does look to be a good amount of grass on here now we've cut most of it. The sheep definitely won't go hungry. I'll keep them producing wool and more animals for us. Should be a useful source for income while we're waiting for crops to get ready. Get this folded up and then put it back in the end of the shed here. Back this in the end here. Lower it down. Which that won't let you do fold it up, so I'll have to fold it up again, then just drop it off. Let's get the new Holland Bowler on the back of this tractor now. We'll make our way up to our oat field then. So not too big a field we've got a bale up there. One width around the headland, then two through the middle of the field. Probably a lot of straw due to the size of the combine. So we don't need those bales for the sheep, but we will probably sell them instead. Let's try and maximise our income from what little fields we've got. I believe our other bigger field of oats and field of soy beans are nearly ready as well. So we'll be combining them in the near future. It's a little way down here. Two fields we combined before have already been cultivated and ready to be drilled again. They're just on the right here past them buildings and in here. So the size header we've got that's left us a good size swath to bail up. Let's see how we get on with that and how long it takes to get a bale. Not very long, I'd imagine. So for these we will have to put the hood back up on the screen so we can actually see what is in the bale. Find out if it rolls away now, if it just sits there. So it's not rolled too far. It's moved a little bit, but not as bad as they used to be. OK, 
carry on along here now then, go around the outside the field. Looks like quick the bailers fill up, there'll be a few bales on there to sell. Definitely not short on straw if we were after it for any livestock. Might have to look into baling our other field of oats if these crops get issued this amount of straw to us. Shouldn't take too long to get this field bailed, then we'll head back and knock out our grass so it starts dry out for the hay. Bales are certainly staying in position better than they used to. This might not be so bad using the round bale anymore. Sure, most of us who have used one of these in real life have had an incident involving a bale run away with at some point on the field. I certainly have done in the past. There's definitely no shortage of bales off this little field. It's well worth buying them. Come back and get that little bit at the end if we're short of straw for a bale. And that bit I've now missed there. Won't leave too much line about it, if anything, if we can help it. There'll be at least two more coming off here. And we'll leave this tractor on the baler and put the other 6155 of the loader on, on the tether and the rake to do the other jobs. Try and share the work out between these two tractors. I've had the combine back in the yard after doing this field. 
So it's now been serviced, which cost us near £1,000 for the combine. Another £500 to have the header serviced. So they're both ready to go again, and they've both been washed. So they're looking clean again. Looks like we aren't quite going to find enough straw to complete this bale, unfortunately. Got one more little bit in the middle there. It's definitely not going to be 251 litres in that. So now we'll have to take it into the hayfield with us and see what happens. We'll turn that off and get back to the other farm now. These John Deere's are actually the slowest two tractors we've got. Still don't really matter because with they don't go too far, unlike the rest of them. We'll definitely expand the sheep flock as things progress. Don't think we'll ever get into cows onto this the save game but we'll see the sheep are a lot easier to look after in this case Let's put this back in here. Hop into that other John Deere sitting there then. Should leave this here. Let's get into this one and hook the tail drop onto this tractor. Back up to the tether. Get that hooked on. Let's get unfolded and we'll start going around the field. See how this behaves on the uneven ground in places. Hopefully there won't be too many issues. If there is we'll have to try and sort it out. along here. Come back for that bit and I should just time lapse the next little bit and rejoin me when we nearly finish the field again.
We've got a few misfits around the outside of the field as you've probably seen. So we'll have to try and go around to get them from a different angle. Don't particularly want to miss anything if we can help it. So quite big patches that's missed around the outside there. The odd bit in the middle as well. Try and get it from this direction. It seems to have worked. Get that other bit sitting there again. So I missed it from two different directions. So we've got that time. Get those bits up the side here. Lots of little bits here as well as missed. So I'm going to try and sort that out after the latest patch has been released. We won't try it with the beta edition, but we'll try it with the um, full release once that's out. Let's see what we can do with it then. No, my luck probably broke the map. <coughs> but we'll see what happens. So we'll put this back in the shed for now. And we'll leave it there for this episode. We'll do the breaking and the bailing in the next one. This goes back to over here where it came from. And we'll leave it there. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, goodbye for now.